Coconut bake, anyone? Come on into Jenny's Walk and let's make some lovely signature dish here from that beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. Coconut bake. Great to have with any one of your seafood delight. Come on in. Let's get started. Okay, foodies, let's put that lovely bake together. Coconut bake here from Jenny's Walk. I did several recipes on the page. I'm doing a new one for you today. So in my bowl here, I have three cups of flour. I see if I have my yeast, cinnamon, nutmeg, and a little bit of clove. Clove is very strong, so you're going to go easy on that clove. Here I have three tablespoonful of coconut powder. And goes that. I want to add a teaspoonful of kosher salt. And I like to add my sugar. You could go with brown sugar. I have white sugar, so I'm going to go in with two. I'm making two bakes. So two, oh, like a little sweetness in there. Three tablespoonful. Here I have half a cup of grated coconut and one and a half cup of coconut powder. So this I'm going to give a good mix and combine everybody in together. Let me mix this up. So I'm using <clears throat> the Crisco shortening, my dear foodies. So I'm going to go in with two, one, two tablespoonful is just enough. And now I want to mix this in using both hands and let it come really crummy and nice into the dough. So use your two hand and give it a good mix just like that. So there you go, foodies all come together really nicely. So now here I have my warm water. Warm water will help that ease to activate and grow as you would say. Some of you will say the yeast will grow, meaning it will bloom or activate and help give this a rise. So let me just bring this dough together. So foodies, what I like to do, take all that flour out my hands, put all, stick it in there, clean your basin, clean a nice, spray your basin and have it all set and ready for you. And now we're going to knead everything in, into this dough. Give it a good knead and stretch, knead and stretch, knead and stretch. So this way your gluten will form and you will get a beautiful rise. And all those flour from your finger, everybody gets in there. Everybody in here getting to know each other. That Crisco is moving around in there together with your coconut and your spices, coconut flakes, everybody. So you're going to give this a good knead for seven minutes. This is all done. I did my seven minutes. Going to give it a nice little smoothen up there. And there you go. So this is going to be too lovely big. So back into your bowl. Put it in there. A little spray so, you know, the moisture don't dry. You know, it's flour. There you go. And let's put a damp towel over it. Or put it in your microwave or your oven and let it sit there for a good one hour. Lovely coconut bake here from Jenny's Walk. Okay, foodies, I almost forgot that I was doing a video. So here I cut my two, my dough into two, two balls over here. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to open it up. If I open it up, I want to bake them in my pan. Give it a good little spray with some butter. Spray both of them and set them on the side. And this is how you're going to open out your bake. You don't need to roll it in the rolling pin. You just go around with your hand and open. And you open just like so. open it out really nicely nice and smooth you could do it like a dome so you press more on the ends and leave the top so you will get a dome now you're going to place it in your pan see just like so look how beautiful it just fit in really nicely now you're going to take your fork for that signature look from that beautiful island of trinidad and tobago coconut bake is signature to see the fork print like this on the bake. You don't stick it all the way down into, into the dough, but you just superficial as you would see. So the second way is like this, like half away, get your dome, you see your dome is there. So you're really pushing on the side and now you could just place it in your pan now and give it a good little stretch, leaving your, your you see that there? This is your little dome there. That is if you want a dome. If you do not want a dome and you want everything to be around the same same thickness, you could just roll it out, foodies. It's all about you and preference, what you like. But Jenny's Walk is here just to show to you methods and little tricks, saving time, little twists, do things a little differently, 
but we're going to end up with the same great texture. So here you go, our two bake. So now I'm going to let them sit and rest. I'm going to cover them, put them in a nice warm place and let, give it a one hour. Let it just get little, little size now. So there you go, foodies, all out of the oven. And I just brush a little bit of butter on it while it's hot and let it just melt up really beautiful. Lovely bake here from Jenny's Walk. Great to enjoy with some buljol or any salt, salt fish or any salt side, fish sides, salted fish. Look at that beautiful color. Beautiful brown, just the way I like it. So give it a try, my dear foodies. Lovely bake here from Jenny's Walk to try for your Lent season. Some mackerel, some salmon, sardine, buljol, anything. Just enjoy, indulge. So from my kitchen to your kitchen, happy cooking.